Good day to you all. It's that time of the day again where we'll be learning something about SIRA processes. For those who don't know me, my name is Taba Makobe, the founder of Technology for All Academy. In our lesson today, our focus will be on learning what is CRC and DHA or harness. I have noticed most people always ask questions like, how long does it take for my CIRA certificate or accreditation to be approved? What is CRC? And I've got an email regarding CRC status. So first of all, it takes about six to eight weeks for CIRA accreditation to be approved, provided all is in order. When finishing your CIRA registration at a CIRA branch or office, the following will happen. Your application will be reviewed to confirm that required information is provided and your picture or photo will be captured. Secondly, DHA or harness and CRC verification will be conducted. And when that process is finished, CIRA will take your fingerprints to have a switch for CRC verification. And once feedback is received, the CRC status can be processed as retake, possible illicit, or approved. Until now, I've mentioned few terms that I want to explain thoroughly, and they are DHA or harness and after switch and CRC. DHA is abbreviation for Department of Home Affairs, and harness is the system they use, which is abbreviation for Home Affairs National Identification System. Harness is the fingerprint method for the citizens of South Africa. AfriSwitch is a national automated electronic criminal record checks. So CRC is abbreviation for criminal record checks. So how does it work? Your fingerprints are captured via biometric scanners and electronically interfaced with SAPS and DHA to verify or check criminal record checks and identification. So good people, I just want to plead with you to be honestly as you can when applying for CIRA. Watch this video till the end and you'll find out why I say that. Now, let's discuss CRC status. We'll start with retake. When CRC status is updated to retake, you will receive an email notifying you to visit the nearest CIRA branch or office. And the application status will be automatically updated to provisionally rejected. Provisionally rejected means temporarily rejected. You'll be required to visit the CIRA office or branch to restart the CRC process by resubmitting your fingerprints to be sent to AfriSwitch for processing. Meaning the quality of your first fingerprints was poor to work with or to verify CRC. Next will be possible illicit. If the CRC status is updated to possible illicit, you will receive an email notification and the application will be automatically updated to provisionally rejected. Your CRC status can be further updated to criminal record, referred to registration subcommittee, awaiting trial, or approved once more information has been received regarding the nature of the offense. If CRC status is updated from possible illicit to approved, the registration status will remain as provisionally rejected pending training. And this is how it will be reflected on the dashboard. If the CRC status has been updated from possible illicit to await in trial, the registration status will remain as provisionally rejected. And this is how it will be reflected on the dashboard. Once the case has been processed and a verdict is received, that information will be required to update the CRC status to approved or rejected. Thirdly, if the CRC status has been updated from possible illicit to refer to registration subcommittee, the registration status will remain as provisionally rejected, pending feedback from registration subcommittee. And this is how it will be reflected on the dashboard. Once the decision is made, the CRC status will be updated to approved or rejected. If it is approved, the CRC status will be updated to approved but the registration will remain as provisionally rejected pending training. Last but not least, if CRC status has been updated from possible illicit to criminal record, the registration status is automatically updated to rejected. 
and this will be reflected on the dashboard. You can start the appeal process by clicking the appeal button as soon as registration has been rejected. As I have said before, please be honest as you can when applying for CIRA accreditation, especially when answering the questionnaire. If you have criminal records or offenses, make sure you disclose them. And this is the information you will need to supply when disclosing your offenses. If you are living outside South Africa, make sure that you disclose. And not only those two, all the questions, make sure that you are honest as you can. If you have been employed by SAPS or Department of Defense, make sure that you disclose that information because CRC needs to know all about you and you must be honest as you can. Remember that even though we are dealing with private security, it is still regulated by the state and they have means of knowing if you are not telling the truth, like using the harness or using the AFRI switch for CRC verification. Hope this lesson was informative and beneficial. If it was, please share it with someone who can also benefit from it. And if you have a suggestion or question, please don't be afraid to leave it on the comment section and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Last but not least, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you can be notified whenever we drop another video or lesson. Let me love and leave you. Have a blessed day and thank you for watching.